freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Morning everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully you're all okay. We're just trying to figure out where we're going. Um, so we're heading to Preston um, and I've got paperwork here in front of me and it says we're going to Rob Ascroft's yard, LS Systems storage area. So I just put into uh, SatNav LS Systems storage because we've, I've been there before. Um, but I've just phoned them up to say I'm half an hour away because it says on the paperwork cool when you're half an hour away and then they they said something that threw me off and they were like yeah it's the, it's the farm rose farm so I'm, I'm having a look and i'm like there's no farm there like where i'm going so uh, anyway it turns out i'm going to the wrong place <laughs> so basically i've got to replan my route now which is what i'm doing now just checking my route before i actually head there because i don't want any more surprises let's say like things like Church Road and Gorse Lane <laughs> don't sound good. So I'm just checking that I can actually uh, go down there okay, not a, not a problem. Gorse Lane, Gorse Lane, Gorse Lane, Gorse Lane, we want Church Road. Where's Church Road? Is that Church Road? Okay, that's Church Road. We're zooming in. Cool, yeah, it looks okay. Right, so I'm glad, I'm glad I stopped. Um, on this hill that we're on now because if we didn't we would have gone to the wrong place that is why planning is key right let's get out of here oh wow so we were only 25 minutes away and um now we're 40 minutes away the uh where they want it is actually not the address which is on the paperwork so yes never mind i do have to make another phone call i think just to tell the guys we're delivering on behalf of that uh, where they actually want it is a different area but that's okay but yes welcome everyone welcome to the channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching and we are in a different truck today don't know whether you can tell or not um, but this is not my normal truck normally we drive G14 this is G11 um, which I have driven at one point or another but the driver that did drive this has left. My truck's in for repair. As you uh, would have heard on my last video, it's making lots of um, ringing noises. So it's in for repair with DAF. Hopefully it's gonna get service, update all the systems. Hopefully that uh, ringing stops. So in the meantime, we're in this truck, which, um, hmm, it's not as nice, <laughs> let's say. Definitely not as nice. And um, yeah the previous owner of this of this vehicle the previous driver i should say didn't exactly leave it very clean and tidy for me so i had to come in on sunday and uh me and my wife spent an hour cleaning it up and hoovering and get rid of food that was left in the fridge and socks that were left on the bunk <laughs> so uh yeah that was nice but um it's uh, relatively cleaner now. It's still a bit of a mess because I've got all my stuff just dumped in here. I'm living out of bags at the moment. I've got two bags and then my bedding, which is bundled up. Today's Tuesday. I was in it yesterday as well, which was Monday. Um, but uh, I haven't got my bedding set up yet. But we are on a night out tonight, I believe. Pretty confident we're on a night out tonight. So the bedding will be set up. The curtains have been taken home with them, so there's no curtains in here to go around the front. Well, actually, tell a lie, there are. There are curtains on the bunk, but there's no um, there's no hooks, so I can't hang the curtains up. So I got no curtains for tonight, or well, didn't have any curtains tonight until I left home this morning. With um, well, I've actually, I'm going to have to improvise later, but I got some cable ties and I got some duct tape. So. <laughs> 
tonight is going to be improvising. Putting, I think I could put cable ties through the back of the curtains, and then using the duct tape, I can put it through the cable tie and tape it to this. And then at least then I've got something to cover around. Um, but there are these ones which come down, but you know, I don't want to get dressed laying down on the bed, so. Yes, yes. Anyway, it's a long drive before we get to our delivery point. Well, I say long, another 35 minutes. But I was, I'm going to crack on now and I'll see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Okay, good news. We are in the right place and we are being offloaded as well. I thought I'd just quickly show you what we've got on. So we've got 24 pallets of, uh, of these white bags. Essentially, it's um, like top floor and a bark and stuff like that. Just notice the mud flap is a bit kicked up here. Never mind. So yeah, 24 of these pallets. He's tipping them on the other side and parking them up. But uh, yeah, massive digger over there, look. Lovely. Now, weather's a bit weird, like the sun is in my face, so I need glasses. But as you can see behind me, it's looking rather dark, especially that way. So uh, it might lash it down with rain any moment now, I don't know. But it's the sun's out for now, so that's good. So I may need to stop for a break. Like I said, I'm on four hours driving now. We're just in there getting offloaded. I reckon this road's quite enough. I can just pull up, park on the left-hand side and have a little break. There's hardly any cars are coming past. Yeah, I can't do that being an issue. But this, this is the only sign that we have to say that this is where we're going, Rose Farm. Picking up a bit. <laughs> it looks proper dark over there. Look, <laughs> that's gonna rain any minute now. So, uh, jump back in the truck, I reckon, before it starts raining. It was, uh, it was raining on the way as well. <laughs> While I'm on the way to the truck, so I don't actually know what I'm doing from here. If I had to guess, could be like, I'm sure I picked up pallets from somewhere around here from a chap. I've also gone to Birkenhead before. Obviously can't go to the place I got banned from, <laughs> but there is a place in Birkenhead. Bootle, not too far away as well. Get some mesh from Bootle, one of the possibilities. There's a, there's a few, there's a few possibilities. Just waiting for the boss to, uh, to message me and tell me which one. Okay, we have been told that we're going to Butel, so we're picking up um, like metal mesh. I've done it before in a video, uh, but this is from Butel. I'm not entirely sure if I've vlogged from there or not, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've been there a few times now. You sort of get loaded next to the way bridge, you stay in your truck. Then when they finish loading you, you strap up, go on the way bridge, get your paperwork and off you go. Probably there for a couple of hours. Um, and then it's going to Staines, which is basically go basically going past the yard, but it's whether we can get back to the yard or not tonight, I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Because like I said, we're on four hours now already. By the time we get to, to boot all, we're on five hours. And then we might get back on a 10 hour drive, but I'm not sure. Plus it'll be quite late as well. So I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, see what happens. It's not raining yet, but the sun has gone. <laughs> so it um, could be raining soon. Paperwork is done. Just spoke to the forklift driver. I said, do those gates stay open? He goes, yeah. I said, I don't suppose I can have a break in here because I've already started my break. Um, he said, yeah, I have your break in here. So we're staying in here now. We don't need to go out on the road, um, which is just as well because I just realized we've got to go out the way we come in. So we're going to go that way anyway. So lovely, lovely. So yeah, we'll just sit here for a break. Once our break is finished, we will head over to Bootle. Is this on? Yeah, I left that on. We'll head over to Bootle and um, get over the mesh. So I'll, I will see you in Bootle. Oh, there's some uh, some water marks on the window.
coming down harder than I would have liked. Hopefully it's just going to pass by. Fingers crossed. Go left here. Same old lane mate. This is not what I wanted. That's hail. That's actually hail. literally made the road white. No, it's all white now. Because it's come down so quick. No, it's getting heavier. This car's breaking. Are you actually doing it? So um, I just put our destination into the sat-nav, which is basically our yard. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So it's only three hours, 37 minutes, which gives us um, 53 minutes before we run out of drive time. Uh, but we've done 51, so that's a two minute leeway. So we're on 51 now, so 51 add 337, I believe it'd be four, 28 or something. <laughs> I think we're two minutes good for time, so we might get back without a break. Having said that, right now, we're sat in the truck, not doing anything. I'm on break now. I don't care. Some people will say, oh, you're not allowed to have a break while you're being loaded. I would argue that I'm not working. I'm chilling, you know. I could be on the bed doing what I want. I could be watching a movie on my tablet, which actually I will in a second. I could be here for an hour. I could be here for two hours. I don't know. Um... That's why you can't have it on POA because you don't know how long you're going to be. But I can certainly put it on rest because I'm not outside working. I'm at work. I'm always at work. Even when I'm doing a night out, I'm still at work. But it still counts as a rest, doesn't it? Um, so, yeah, I'm on break now. So we're going to get, at the very least, a 15-minute break in while they load me. I might even get a whole 45-minute break in. What I'm saying is, if I don't get a break in now, I could probably make it all the way back without a break. Plus, also, ETAs, if I left right now, 3 o'clock, which is good because, again, I think I'm going to be here for an hour, maybe two hours. So that puts it at five o'clock back in the yard, and I was thinking it was going to be more like six o'clock, seven o'clock tonight, so. That's good, that's good. Anyway, someone might move this trailer next to me, this red one, I'm not sure. Because that's normally where we get loaded. Um, but yeah, there's a truck missing. So yeah, I guess they just load me where I am now, and then when we're done, we go onto the Waybridge where he is. So we reverse back, and then drive on. I think we strap up there as well. And um, then he gives us the paperwork, and we crack on, so. Anyway, I'll go. I'll see you in a bit when we are loaded. So I think this is the last bit going on now. So there's a forklift attached to that yellow device, which pinches the uh, the mesh, lifts it up, and then uh, yeah, they put it onto the trailer. As you can see in this camera, look. And then he's putting it on. And I do believe it's going to be the very far back one here that's going on. And it could now actually be. Uh, I think one more, I think one more potentially to go on. Yeah, I think he's coming back for one more. That one up. That could be the 
last one. <laughs> On to the bed of the trailer. And if we look over this side, let's see, he's just about to drop that down. Ooh. <laughs> That's because he's dropping it down that the, uh, he's moving the cab. That's the beeps, I think we're done. Yeah, I think we're done now, so we need to go on the Weybridge, which is uh, just there. So we need to reverse back and drive on. Okay, to show you what's on the trailer. So we've got three straps on each row, nice and easy. We're just gonna go put a high on the back end now, and then we're good to go. Right, we're done. Apologies, I, my mic I was wearing, and it was turned on, <laughs> but it was muted on the receiver end. So uh, apologies, because most of this video, the audio's not been great. So, sorry about that. Right, so, I believe, yeah, we only had a 15 minute break. Oh. <laughs> The taco's reset, it's done a million kilometers. We're now on 11.3, because it got up to 999999. That's cool. Um, yeah, so we only had a 15 minute break. That's right. I'm on 53 minutes of driving. Uh, so, seven minutes shy of an hour, and we're eight minutes over, according to the sat nav right now, is it eight minutes or one minute? I think it's one minute over. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just going to go as far as we can. If we have to stop, then we'll stop. But we, uh, yeah, we might have to stop for a half an hour break. Uh, or we might make it in one go, I don't know. But we do have an overhang. So we've got the old trusted high vis on the back end. I couldn't do much filming because there was people waiting to come in. Uh, these stacks are not as high as what I usually take them. So I feel comfortable with only three straps on each row rather than four because um, they're not very high at all if they were if they put another bundle or two on then i would have gone four high uh, sorry four straps on each uh, on each one but i think three is sufficient so as long as i th think it's sufficient that's all that matters anyway like i said it's a three and a half hour drive back to the yard give or take um yeah, so six, seven. So we're currently one minute short of time. But we could make that up on the way down. Because um, that thinks we only do 53 miles an hour, whereas we actually do 56. So we could make that up on the way down. Or we could get held up in traffic. I I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, but ETA is four o'clock, so we can get back for four o'clock. That would be uh, fantastic. My kids have got parents' evening tonight, so um, that, could, that would mean I could get to parents' evening. <laughs> it's not often I get a chance to go. So yeah, anyway, I shall see you later on, see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green, link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Okay. We are pulled over on the BP garage on the A419 just before we get off at the next junction to go uh, to the yard. I thought I'd fill up a fuel now because it is only uh, 10 to 4. Uh, if we headed straight back to the yard, we would have been back by 4 o'clock. Uh, sorry, uh, by quarter to 4. We've made up loads of time on the way back. Um, when we left earlier, because you joined me now like three hours later from when I last saw you. Three and a half hours, I think. Um, yeah, when I last saw you, the ETA was four o'clock. We would have been there at quarter to four, but we just pulled in to get some fuel. Plus we had to wait for another lorry driver to move out of the way. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make it back without having a fully, uh, full break as well. I think we're on four hours and 10 minutes, I think at the moment or something. I'll show you, I'll show you when we park up anyway. And we're like 10 minutes away. So we are gonna park up before four hours, 30 minutes. Just had to double check with the boss how long I'm in this truck for because I don't want to fill it all the way up with fuel if, um, if I was only in it for another day. But my truck apparently has got an ECU issue as well or something, so 
it needs to be reprogrammed can't imagine that's cheap so yeah we're going to fill up with fuel completely and i'm waddling around like this because i'm dying for a wee <laughs> okie dokie just around the corner from the yard now so um yes as i was saying so uh i think i was on like nearly an hour's drive time pretty much when we left people so we're on four hours and 20 now so we've done three hours uh 20 minutes and um yeah we're just around the corner from the yard like i said we're on 420 so we've still got well, we're on 419 technically so we've got 11 minutes of driving time left and we are just four minutes away from the yard so we've made up the time did not need to stop for a break and uh well we did stop for fuel but we didn't get a break in so time well, there's five past four now just gone so um yeah not bad considering we've had to stop for fuel as well why is this car parked right here are you broken down looks like you're getting fuel what a place to stop so you are technically on the zigzags all right you are technically on the zigzags but i think you've broken down <laughs> Thank you, Mr. I thought I was a foreign driver then, it's not a foreign driver. I was gonna say the nationality, but he's not a national. Um, I wore my microphone in, uh, this microphone here, <laughs> in the BP garage when I filled it with fuel. And the guy, uh, he was like, you vlog? I was like, yeah, I vlog. He goes, ah, you see your microphone? <laughs> I was like, crap, <laughs> it's because it was turned on. Um, but nothing was recorded. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, don't worry, I'm not recording, mate. I said, the GoPro's not turned on, so nothing's been being recorded. He goes, ah, no, cool, cool. What's your channel? <laughs> so I wrote down my channel name. So I've gained a new subscriber, everyone. Woohoo! Um, but something that did happen um, whilst I was filling up with fuel, and I'm going to be honest, this could go either way. People might dislike what I'm about to say. People might agree with me. I don't know. But there was a car driver honking his horn honking like mad to the extent that i was like what is going on so i looked and i was having a look at him and he's there shaking his head and he's holding something up to the windscreen holding something up to the windscreen shaking his head honking his horn flashing his light i was like wow what is this guy's deal anyway i'm walking past to hand my card in and he's still doing it and i had a look and it looks like a disability badge it was like a blue badge and i'm there i'm like what like don't get me wrong like i said this could, this could go wrong um should you be driving a vehicle disabled or not if you can't even get out and fill up with fuel what if there was an emergency and you needed to get out of that vehicle quickly do you know what i mean don't get me wrong i'm not saying you can't you can't drive because he's you know disabled or this or that i'm just saying if he can't get out and fill up with fuel is he really suitable to be driving that's what i'm trying to say if you need someone to look after him which was clearly the case or help him out should you not have a carer with him or a family member or someone to help him it's just you know yeah i don't know that's just my opinion honking your horn and flashing your lights all aggressively i don't think was the way to go personally um yeah just a bit a bit strange and like i said people might disagree with me on that but i just think if you're not in the position where you can even get out of your vehicle should you be driving it in the first place um obviously p some people will um be disabled and be in vehicles as passengers but there will be <coughs> able-bodied people with them to help them get out and stuff like i said you might you might completely disagree with me on that <laughs> who's this guy i thought that guy was uh looking at me as if he wanted to hollow me down then um, but anyway, here we are, we're back in the yard. Um, got to be careful when we, re when we reverse back because we do have an overhang. So we're trying not to damage the building <laughs> that we're attached to. And then tomorrow, I'll vlog tomorrow as well, I'll whack it in this video. It'll be a bit more condensed, I would have thought. Um, we'll get this tipped. I'm not going to vlog the journey to get this tipped because you've seen it before. We'll get it tipped, I'll probably record something while I'm there. And then we'll do the recordings uh, onto the next place. I think that is probably going to be the best the best plan i'm going to park on the far left hand side so i'm not blocking the door but also because i want to <laughs> i think that's going to do there i think that is what i think that is going to do 
Right, let's do some paperwork quickly and then I'll see you outside the truck. Yeah, we're fine. So we're well behind that line, which is the line you park behind. So we're well behind that line, which is good. And then the back end of the trailer, loads of room that. So we've not hit anything on the back. Mind you, it'd be tighter on the other side, on the left side, but yeah. Loads of room. People can walk past still as well, which is good. It's all gravy, baby. Mine's gonna walk back to the car now, we're done. Leave the truck there where it is, paperwork done. We'll uh, come back to it in the morning. Don't know what time though. Just trying to think. Don't have to be really early. Might come in about six, give or take. We'll see. Anyway, see you in the morning. Okay, good morning everyone. We're actually in my car right now, trying to defrost it because it's uh, well, it's a bit chilly this morning. So that's my view. Can't see outside. Minus one. Minus one. Anyway, once this is uh, defrosted, we'll uh, we'll make our way to work. Car under the window. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Uh, we'll have to do this to the truck when we get into the truck as well, so that's good. Okay, we're in the truck, we're just waiting for it to uh, to warm up, done our checks, and uh, yeah, it's all blue in here. <laughs> you got rid of all the white lights, you put blue lights in the blue is in there, so uh, it's just blue in here. But yeah, we're just uh, waiting for it to warm up a little bit more, and then we will crack on to stains. Uh, it will be daylight when we're there as well, so um, yeah. See you in stains. Okay, you join me at our delivery point. We're just undoing all the straps so they can uh, unload us. Fingers crossed we're not here too long. I've been here before for like three hours, hoping it only takes an hour. Fingers crossed because we're good. We're, we're straight in basically. Last time it took three hours. I had to wait for another truck. So hopefully it's quicker this time. Right, fully unstrapped. Uh, we've got to take this off and then uh, they can start unloading this. Right, lorry, another lorry just come in, but he's got reels on, something different. But yeah, here we are, ready to be unloaded. Straps are off, we're just waiting for them now. Hopefully it won't take long. The, the forklift they use is this one around here. Pretty much exactly the same as the one they used uh, where we got loaded. So these things here, Sort of pinch and it lifts it up and i'm pretty sure they dump it all here pretty much so yeah let's jump back in the truck anyway we're done can't do anything else so yeah sit back in the truck have a break this is really bouncy <laughs> i'm so childish like i know i'm going back to south Surrey, but i don't know if i'm getting loaded from b right with bolt bags or whether it's bmi red linens with uh Roofing tiles, I'm not sure yet, so I'll make the call in a minute and find out. Tell you what, <laughs> this mesh is really um, sharp. I had a little trip <laughs> on the driver's side. Um, it's very tight down there. And I don't know what I tripped over. There's nothing there to trip over, but I tripped anyway. And as I went, I just sort of put my arm out to protect myself from really falling. And I sort of went into the, <laughs> to the mesh a little bit. And it just done that on my arm. And it's like the tiniest mark. But it proper stings, man. Ah, <laughs> proper stings, that. Even though I was wearing, like, a hoodie like this, and I was protected, it um just went through and did that. Right about there somewhere. Never mind. Woo. Yeah, we'll do, mate. Right, with the tips, just got to try and get out of here. It's a bit tight. because, uh, yeah, there's stuff all over the place. <laughs> we should be okay. Should be okay.
just watching the man in the blind spot just telling me if I can keep going, which I can. Very close to everything. Not gonna make it. Okay, there is someone in the lorry that they're moving now. I think you can see, so um, can't get any closer to the uh, the vehicle on the right. I've got bags on the left. Should be able to just make it. We're clear on the left. Clear on the right. Mind the overhang of the trailer. Cheers mate, have a good day. We're all good. We're out of here. Let's put our uh, seatbelt back on. So, um, yeah, we've been here a little bit longer than uh, ideally wanted, but not the end of the world. We got here 7.30. It's now 20 to 10. <laughs> so we've been here uh, two hours and 10 minutes. So, yeah. It would have been nice if it was a bit quicker, but not the end of the world. Um, we could be up against it now for the rest of the day. Uh, we're going to head back to South Surrey now. We're due there for half past 11. Then we've got to get loaded. So say we're there for an hour. That's half past 12. Um, and then it's going to be two hours to the delivery point. So it could be half past two. Um... And there is a chance the day take deliveries after two o'clock. We're going to Skyline Roofing. I already know where we're going because I've got the uh, uh, the app. It's a Wind Canton app, and it tells you the place you're going to. So I know where I'm going. Skyline Roofing in Feltham. Um, we'll be there about half past two this afternoon, I reckon. Uh, but I do know that some Skyline Roofing uh, places they don't take deliveries after two o'clock. So. It, on, on the map, it looks like it's okay. It looks like there's plenty of room. So, fingers crossed we can get that delivered today. Um, but yeah, I reckon we'll be, I reckon we'll be at Skyline Roof for about half past two. We'll obviously find out later for sure what time we're going to be there. But that's the aim. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on to South Cerny. Next time you see me, we'll probably be loaded. I'll, uh, I'll show you the load that we've got on. And then um, then we can get going to, uh, to Skyline Roof. And see you in a bit. Okay, engine on. Get that warmed up, ready to go. What a shot. <laughs> right, um, we are loaded and we've just finished strapping up. Uh, we've got 24 pallets on, just going to Fountain. And uh, yeah, gonna go grab the paperwork now and then we're gonna crack on. Because, uh, well, it's 20 past 12 now and it's two hours there. So we wanna get there before I pass two really. That is exactly why I want to get a move on. No deliveries after three o'clock. What's this guy doing? Is he not reversing back? Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to go left on this roundabout. It looks a little bit snug, so I am going to take up two lanes, but indicate left. Because uh, it looks a bit snug down here. All clear. Weight limit between certain times. Come on then, you can cross. All clear, we've got a red light up ahead as well, so we're not gonna throttle it too hard. Save some fuel on the old MPG. Yeah, so look, you've got this little road here parallel to the left. And uh, I think there's the same again further on up. And I didn't know whether we had to um, be on that road or this road, but I think we turn left from this road, by the looks of it. Pretty sure. <laughs> it looks a bit snug for Lloyd to be on, on the parallel bit of road anyway, so would have thought so. It's, we might need two lanes though to make the left turn, that's the only thing. 
and uh, it's pretty busy behind us. We've got a turn in 400 yards, so I am just scouting ahead to see if we can make the turn whilst in this lane, or do we need two lanes? I'm not sure. Oh, motorcyclists there. That's another thing we've got to be careful of, motorcyclists coming down that lane there. I think we're going to need two lanes. Ah, that's where we want to go. We just we just missed our turn in. Okay, we need to turn around. <laughs> where can we spin around? Oh crap! <laughs> I needed that turn in. I think we can turn around here if we're quick. Okay. There was no sign to say no U-turns. I'm pretty sure we can make a right-hand turn up here as well. Can't believe I just missed my turn in. I wasn't sure uh, which one we needed. I thought it was one further on up, but it wasn't. Okay, it's this right-hand turn here. Can we make a right-hand turn here? There, there is an arrow. There's skyline roof in there. We just need to wait for a gap in the road. We can't go yet. Can we go? I think we can go after this black van. Come on. Oh, he slashed me. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't believe I missed that road. Anyway, as you can see, Skyline Roofing is right in front of me, so I'm just going to pull up here on this left bit here. Um, it might be that we... Yeah, I think this is Skyline, yeah, I think. Looks like roof and stuff. So I'm just going to park up here. Uh, I reckon they're going to offload me here. I think. We will see. We will see. Let's go find someone. Right, so yeah, they want me pretty much in the middle of this little bit here. Wait for traffic to clear, just need to take a slightly wider angle. That car's waiting for me, thank you. And uh, yeah, they just want me to plonk it here. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I'm still a little bit annoyed that I uh, I missed the turn in, but it is what it is. We're here anyway. That's the main thing. Spot on. Right. Let's get these straps undone. See you on the outside. Right. We're just getting unloaded. They very kindly let me use their toilets in there walking back around to the truck now yeah so when we are chipped i think it'd just be a case of reversing around this corner and then just driving straight back out um we'll probably have to turn left and then do a turn again like we did earlier to come back on ourselves right we're tipped i'm gonna turn those adders off they're annoying drive to work leave straight i think you're straight So yeah, we're going to stop for a break on the way back. Um, can I go that way? So I think if I can turn right out of this main junction, I will, but I think it'll be too busy. I'll be forced to turn left. But I think I can go left at the road ahead, I think. Not sure. Anyway, we've got to spin around first. Got to spin around. Can we turn around up here? He said there was enough room to do so. Yeah, I can back it now. If I go left down here. And then go back. Making sure there's no one behind me.
and now we want to indicate left. There's a car coming. Waiting for the car to go. Lovely. Cool, right, so that's just spinned around. Spun round, I should say. So ideally we want to turn right out of here, but like I said, I think it'll be too busy. Um, plus I'm not entirely sure if you're actually allowed to, to be honest with you. So we might be forced to turn left and then see if we can do another U-turn like we did earlier. So there's nothing to say that you can't go right. I suppose it depends on how busy it is. Like, we can't go left anyway if we wanted to. We might have a gap on the right. Do we have a gap on the left? I think we will, actually, because there's red lights on both sides. Just waiting for this moped to go. Thank you very much. You let me through. Okay, cool. That's, that's good. We managed to make a right turn. Didn't see anything to say you can't do the right turn. Hey, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to stop for a break on the way back. Um, so, we're probably looking, I don't know, quarter to five, maybe, something like that. Not going to worry too much. It's so, um, pretty much uh, as I thought, essentially. Um, in terms of timings and that's why i do it i just like to like to guess timings correctly that was all so uh yeah lovely jubbly nice little uh engine malfunction symbol come up that's uh nothing <laughs> nothing i've not seen before we've got to stop for pedestrians on this zebra crossing don't think the motorcyclist behind me was expecting to stop he ended up having to come down the left side. Indicate right. Let's get onto this main road first. If you're going to stay on my left side, you're going to get pinched. Like it's a bit snug round here. These lanes aren't exactly massive. And uh, yeah, when they bend, you're going to get pinched by a truck. That's just how it works. Highway code allow extra room for large vehicles we're just continuously monitoring monitoring both sides we can cross this before that bike there and then we want to bear right so i think we want the right hand side lane yes we do lovely that's how it's done put our foot down there's a bus behind us so i was monitoring traffic coming from behind me i was prepared to slow down if needed but actually it was uh a better idea to speed up so yes uh that's just done so um yeah i can't even remember what we did yesterday what did we do yesterday we oh yeah we delivered into preston didn't we where it was really sunny but it looked like it was going to lash down and then we went to bootle where it did lash down with hail got loaded with the steel come back down delivered that this morning in um stains back to South Cerny, get reloaded with uh, with uh, tiles, and then we just delivered those tiles now to um, uh, Feltham. So yeah, that's been this video, that's what we've done. For me now, don't let that car through, come on, I'll flash you. For me now, uh, I've got to go, why are you getting over, there's nothing in lane one. I've got to go back to the yard, and then tomorrow morning, load up from Tetbury, and I think I'm going into Devon tomorrow, um, Castle something, and then Honington, which is where the Devon truck show was held, so yeah, it should be Devon. So I might vlog tomorrow. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out all of my sponsors. Uh, so we've got um, Avail, obviously. They're my long time subscribers. And then we've got Deeper Drivers, we've got TomTom, Tom, and we've got White Food, and we've got the uh, Essential Truckers Handbook. So big, massive thanks to all of them for supporting me and my channel. Uh, all of them have been with me for quite a while now. Um, so yeah, big thanks to all my sponsors. Uh, and thank you for, for using said sponsors, because if you didn't, they wouldn't be with me anymore. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. I will see you in the next video. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, 
I will see you soon. Bye-bye.